Hello, welcome to learning MATLAB with example. In this video, I am going to show you how to plot amplitude varying sine wave and cos wave and we will learn some plotting basics. Let's begin. As you can see, in this video, I have got two graphs on the same figure and multiple plot on the same graph. Let's see how code works. In the first line, we will have 100 values stored in the T array varying from 0 to 2, 6 pi. The for loop use colon function which increase i from 1 to 100 with step size 1. It will help us generate xi and yi for each corresponding i. The subplot command will divide the figure window in 2 cross 1 array and the third input will tell in which row you want to plot. These commands we have already discussed. X label and Y label label the axis. Grid will display grid. Plot will plot the graph. Now, in this plot command, I have used a total of 6 parameters. The first parameter will plot X with respect to T with yellow color line and th other three will plot y with respect to t in green line. I have used a new command legend which will generate a legend telling the user which is y x and which is y. Now we could also uh, change it like from instead of writing 2 cross 1 I will write 1 cross 2 and see what happened the figure and this time we have one cross two matrix and the third input is representing which column we want to plot we could also plot like this ti is equal to x semicolon y and replacing all this with the ti remember by plotting multiple graph it is not necessary to give parameters like line style line size line color if we do not give anything matlab will gen generate its default colors and so we have default red and blue colors for the x and y we now i am going to teach you tell how we can edit a plot there are two ways we could code just like i have done in the, this code i have specified the color of the plot and the last video i have specified the marker you could also do it using gui click on edit plot and now you can select plot right click on it could change the color of the plot you could change the style you could increase the width of the plot you could place markers You could also make changes to marker size. And we could also see the co MATLAB code required to generate such sort of plot. So that's all for the video. Thanks for watching.